adds David George Brook, that gratitude guy, a permanent solution for a temporary problem. You may have heard that statement before, and I'm unfortunately talking about suicide and the fact that the number of people that have been committing suicide has been increasing dramatically over the last few years. It's a well-known fact that 22 military personnel, both active duty and retired, take their own lives every single day in our country. It is a huge problem and has been exacerbated by the coronavirus pandemic and the associated economic impact on so many people and businesses. People have been taking their lives since the beginning. Somehow now it seems even sadder given the fact that there is so much more knowledge about the subject. There are suicide hotlines and an understanding about the efficacy of certain medications to help people that are heading down the suicide path. As a person that has suffered from depression that was passed on down from my mother, I understand how overwhelming life can be. I don't think there is any one magic bullet to combat this unfortunate, tragic problem. But as one that has benefited so much from an attitude of gratitude, I feel that the answer is probably a combination of many things that in concert can consistently battle the depression that often leads to suicide. Understanding gratitude and the use of a gratitude journal definitely contributes to a better physical and mental mindset. There are many studies that speak to the effectiveness of a gratitude mindset and how it can change your physiology. My hope is that one would try to add gratitude to one's daily regimen, and that might include things like exercise, water, vitamins, stretching, meditation, and any number of protocols that when combined seem to help. Gratitude turns what you have into enough. It can change your life and it can, if you just want to give it a try. I'm that gratitude guy. Remember, be grateful and never quit.